Uh, help. I'm doing everything except what I want to do. There we go. Uh, okay. This rant has been going on too long. I forgot where I had decided I had to go. Oh. Oh, I remember now. There's only one place that makes any sense to me. Hi, Chad. I think I have to go to White Castle. The other thing I could do would be to fight Nightmare King Grim. It would have to be one of those two things. Can I get down from here? I can't, no. These elevators are a pain in the behind. So there's literally one item in the game I need. And I'm either going to White Castle to get it, or getting Dream Essence. Okay. Where is... The dream essence. Where could I get dream essence? The ancient basin. Could I fight Dung Defender now? Or White Defender? I guess he's the closest. But I know I could fight the Abyss Man. So let's go to the Abyss. So we're going to go do a dream fight and then we're going to go into White Castle. I should get enough dream essence from this. Where's the benchy at? Though, I'm going completely the wrong way. Love to go in the wrong way. So, don't need you. One thing. Oh, do I not have it? Do I not have the one thing I need to do this fight? I do. Defender's Crest makes the upcoming fight much easier. But what else could I use? I guess Sprint Master? Or Long Nail. I'm not going to be casting a lot of spells. So now I have a Heroic o Odor. Ah, man. I stopped right before. I uh, should just be able to go straight across now, right? Yep. 
Yep, here we go. So this fight's really hard. But I'm fully powered up. And there's no music here. But there is here. Man, look how... Did they make the stink cloud more visible since the last time I played? The stink is extremely visible. Rip. Okay. So the reason you need the stink is because the ads. The stink kills the ads. Okay. Being fully powered up and having the stink made that really easy. If you don't have the stink, it's very hard. But having but luckily the defender's crest is incredibly easy to get. So you're you're guaranteed to have it for this. It's the power of stinking. The stink has some other uses. But we're done with the stink for now. Now we go to resting grounds and we'll see what my reward for having 2400 essence is. Then I'm going to go to White Castle and if there's something good in White Castle, I'm going to look at the spoiler log because I've probably missed a grub that is hidden and no longer has the audio tell because it is rando. Why did I not get anything? Do you not get anything for that? Rip. Let's go to White Castle. Um, there's one part of White Castle that I don't remember. And it is if you act if you ever get an item while in the path of pain. I'm pretty sure the path of pain is entirely for a cutscene. They're just not music here. Get used to these guys. You have to pogo off them. And we're going to be pogoing to such extent that I think Grubberfly's Elegy is very good. But I think I want Long Nail. These all are not Grubber Flies, but Grub Song. Grub Song is very good here because you take lots of spike damage. So, White Palace is pretty cool. It 
if you're not doing the Path of Pain. If you do the Path of Pain, it's Super Meat Boy, and it destroys itself aesthetically. But what the worst thing is, I think I'm doing this for one item. I've also done the Path of Pain. It's hard. It's not really fun. Well, of course the speed run's going to do it quickly. But what you don't see when you see a speed run is, I think I actually go back, is the 10,000 hours they spent into being able to do that in five minutes. I think that opened this up. Yeah. All the way down here. If you can get... Uh, you can get spirit from the Pogo Boys. Uh... Hold on. It's not unlocked yet, right? I remember the Path of Pain being, like, hidden. And you have to, like, break a wall to do it. I don't remember where. I'm looking it up. Hollow Knight Path of Pain. Where is it at? It's an annoying little pop-up on the Hollow Knight wiki. At the beginning of the first buzzsaw room on the second floor. So I'm not at a buzzsaw room yet. I remember it being in pretty early on. But memory has a way of being completely bullshit. Think this is a way in and out? Yeah. I think these are infinite. Oh, are they not? Uh, these guys give infinite soul, though. I like that you can stand on these old ledges. Introducing the buzz saws. Can you not zip through the buzz saws? You look at the map again. Okay, I see where it's at. So... The bus stalls don't make any sense, right? Why are there... Why are there bus saws in this game?
Ooh, are they bug saws? Yeah, but it's like aesthetically, this doesn't work at all, right? Like I'm not alone in thinking that. Anyways, the game hasn't required super amounts of precision platforming until now. Can you pogo off? You can pogo off. I shouldn't have jumped. I just ah. I should definitely have equipped high, uh, Hive Blood. I'm not very good at this kind of platforming. You can probably tell that. I got up here. <laughs> I might have to redo all this. Actually, let's leave. Oh, 
I'll go ahead and put hive blood on. There's one more thing I could be doing that I forgot about that is much less odious. You can get soul from these guys because you can kill them. We're leaving. And we are going to the Dirt Mouth. Dirt Mouth holds the answers. Ah, right, but hold on. We've got to take a break, everybody, because you know what time it is. It's time to cover my baseball bets. Okay, let's take a look at the bets. Nice. I'll take that over the worm. The worms broke the record for uh, fastest party time ever. We've also had some party time happening. Eden Marlowe's partied up. Friend of the show, Cass Fiasco, partied up a fair amount. Got Max Musclitude. Got like three fifths divinity. But the only downside is a middling thwack ability. So going to hit for extra bases. But not going to hit all that often. I think he's hitting a 225 right now, which is about average. But we'll, we'll take the bet against them. The Tacos. Tacos have cemented themselves in the standings. They're currently seven games up. It's one of their best showings since the very weird season of all black holes, all sun twos, where their bad pitch staff didn't matter. The Spies, I think, are their biggest competitors. I'll take the Mills over the Mechs. Are the mechs, the mechs can't be in party time yet. Are the mints? Yep, mints have hit party time. Has anybody partied yet? Nope, they just entered party time. Party time is when you're mathematically eliminated from the playoffs, and you have a chance of partying during party time, which will increase your stats. The lift are very bad. I'll take the stakes over the chucks. I'm gonna bet a ooh mummy Melkin versus Burke Gonzalez. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna stay loyal to the Tigers and I'll give them a six 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 bet. The Jazz have not been able to catch a break. ERA leader Wyatt Pothos had an allergic reaction, which turned his godly pitching stats into Good pitching stats. He was pitching in 0.92 ERA earlier in the season, and we were all hoping he could hit the season below one, but it looks like that's probably not going to happen. The firefighters are performing or overperforming right now. They're my favorite in the wild high. I'll take the garages over the talkers. Crabs come from behind. They're currently leading the mild low. Take the beams over the Dale and the Fridays. Wait, are the Fridays leading now or is it the Crabs? It's the Crab. Oh, they're tied. Yeah, the Crabs were dead last, but have managed to get themselves into a position where they are in direct competition. They both overtook the Moist Talkers. Sunbeams are. 14 games back. Unlikely they do anything. They stole Alden cash money. Yes, they tried to incinerate Nagomi uh, Nava a while ago. But the worms. I'm into the worms. Anything else happen? 
firefighters are two games up. The mills are still directly competing with. Uh, let's see. Are the lifting? Nope. So the only teams in party time right now are the Breath Mints and the Worms and Tokyo. Have they had any... A few bits of... of uh, of partying for the lift. I think Garand is in. Now here's Garand. Somebody was in their shed. Anyway, let's look at the games happening. Flowers lead the Worms 3-0. The Takas lead the Tacos lead the Georges 2-0. And it's in solar ecli eclipse weather. Has anybody been incinerated? No. Tigers lead the Wild Wings. The beams are leading against the delay. This would be a nice upset. If the spies could lose, that would further cement the tacos as the wild low champs. Anyways, that's enough. I got my bets covered. That's enough. Blaze ball. Now with that out of the way... I think you're going to be a four-star hitter by the end of the season, Kaz. Let's go trade a rancid egg for a hint. A dreamer nestled in a basin deep below the city. Nestled in a basin deep below the city. How many rancid eggs do I have? Nine. That's bad is the thing. Because the ancient basin... There's either an item in this part that I don't have. Or there is something in White Palace. Yeah, there, it's probably missing a grub in the... Let me see. Are there actually any items in White Palace? Because doing White Palace gets you one of the marks of the kings, right? I'm looking it up the thing. Uh, if there's an item at the end of... Okay. Let me look at the map. There's an interactive map. For Hollow Knight. Because one thing I know I don't have... I could do this. I was shadow locked from coming down here before, but I haven't done this yet because I haven't had enough lifeblood. What is that? Broken vessel. Lost kid. That, that the. Why do they shrink like that? I don't need requires. Yeah, it would be either here 
I've done corner fur. Yeah, it's either King Soul in White Palace that I need, or this, or there's something here that I've forgotten. Let's do a quick tour of the basin before I commit myself to doing that annoying area. But I have confirmed, in the ba basin is where my troubles live. There is a dreamer there, and that's the last thing I need. I was hoping that would not be the case. The lesson I learned is don't randomize dreamers. Randomize stag stations. Don't randomize uh, dreamers. Let me get that map up so I can actually see it. This is the first time I've used the interactive map. I've had I've been able to use my brain the, the other time, but I am literally stuck. Okay. In the big room. The only thing here is a vessel fragment, which I've already gotten. So coming over here. Oh. There's a worm up here. I may not have come up here before. I don't think that's the solution, but it's the one I've done the most often. Ah, my jump came out. But you can see the appeal of using hive blood. Okay. I got my egg back. I was really hoping that was going to be it after I saw it, but... The other thing is... There is an item down that I may not have gotten. Mr. Mushroom can appear down here, too. So where is this item? Oh, I've gotten this. I think. Think okay. 
I might be on the rope for White Palace. Warp. But there's still one thing to check. There's... Ah, get out of here. There's a grub down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay! I don't have to do White Palace! Hooray! Yes. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get my stuff looking good. Um, I probably want to be Nail Man. I could be Wizard as well. Wizard isn't good against Radiance, though. But Unbreakable Heart's probably just worthwhile to use. I'm just like quick focus. This is like a generic sword fighting charm layout. I guess I could just go. I could go down and check to see what's in that thing down in the abyss. It would be thematic. And more importantly, it wouldn't take any time. Oh, the little reflection is in here. Well, they still hate me. Okay, well, warp. And actually, I'm just going to go... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. I can't think of anything I want to do before just going and fighting the Hollow Knight. Okay, I have Void Heart on. I have the better nail. Hagana Skmomgus. Into the hole. Oh, 
Oh, Kaz, I have something that I have something to point out to you if you're still watching. What, uh... What is the name of the... Stadium that the lovers play at? Oh, that was bad. Okay. Now he starts stabbing himself. This is a good fight. Not a big fan of this one, though. So that could have been the final boss. You can just beat that boss and win. Or you can fight a worse boss. Ooh, fighting the Radiance might actually be tough. I'm bad at this fight. Because it's a whiz robe. Fuck. Shit. I'm so hosed. I wonder. What if I... Where are you at? You're still a hater, huh? What if I change my strategy? Uh, thank you for the sub, Medibot. We're going to try be a wizard, and my goal will be to not spend any essence if I can't, if I can help it, on Hollow Knight, and then to use Abyss Shriek against the Radiance as much as possible. can already see this is harder Quit it! Eh, what if, uh... What if I save warp? <laughs> okay. Maybe I should use spells against the Hollow Knight. 
if I'm set up as a wizard. We didn't see this attack last time. Hornet? Yep. Get yeah, get goon. Okay. I'm dead. Okay. Come here, you. I have a new goal. So it takes, it has 1,700 health. And Abyss Shriek with Shaman, with Shaman uh, Stone does 120. So I have to Abyss Shriek it not quite 14 times. Hmm. I could not fight it. I could just have the bad ending. I'm just tanking a bunch of hits that I shouldn't. Okay. Get the Hold on. All right. Oh, do you get restored to full into this fight, or did I just incidentally heal all my health? God damn it. I'm so bad at those.
I'm dead. With the double healing pin. There's... I could use deep focus. I, pr I prefer deep focus to... Or quick focus to deep focus. What if instead... Hmm. That doesn't quite work out. I could say quick slash isn't what I want. And I just focus entirely on nailing. Actually, no, this won't work. Doesn't work because Radiance does two damage, not one. And a quick focus seems like it's something I want. And then, if I just fight, there's not much else I can do. I could find another Mask Shard, which would give me one more health. I need to do is focus on how to dodge the moves the Radiance does. He's got to be dead by now. Yeah. Okay, let's see if it heals me before I go in. It does. Okay. Ah, damn it. Okay. That was... I'm getting better, though. Not much better. But I am getting better. I wasn't actually that close to winning there. I was through phase one of three.
Ah, dang it. I'm going to change some charms. I don't think Quick Slash is going to help me that much versus Radiance. What would, though? What would help? Shaman Stone? Mark of Pride? I can't use Deep Focus plus Quick Focus, or else I could. Grimchild? Would upgraded Grimchild be anything? It wouldn't take that long to go up upgrade Grimchild. Just try Shaman Stone. Gonna make the Hollow Knight portion of the fight better, but or harder. Yeah, Bishriek is the current plan, is one of the current plans. So here's why. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Radiance has the same problem to me that Nightmare King Grim does, which is that it has way too much fucking health. How did I not get hit there? Fuck. quick focus on? I feel like I don't. I do. This is wrong then. Maybe you. Get out of the corner. I feel like I can just hit him and win. I will heal though, just in case.
Yeah, see? I don't need to dodge against, against Hollow Knight. I can just kill him. Okay. God damn it, it spawned right on top of me. Yeah, I got through that portion. Now it's the portion where if you don't go up, you die. <laughs> How did that one hit me? How did that one spike that flew over my head hit me? Well, that's the fight. Maybe I do one quick slash. Quick slash could help me cheese the second stage where I can like get underneath it and just hit up B a lot. Yeah, not a big fan of Wizrobes.
Okay. Yeah, it's very demanding. And I'm not good at the kind of... The controls of the game allow for the precision it requires. But not me. Oh, did I do it? Was my plan to get underneath it and use quick slash a lot enough? That's an enemy gunship. Yes, okay, my plan to get underneath it and use up slash with uh, quick slash was enough. You gotta play to your strengths. Oh, I have to attack it. Here's what I learned playing this randomizer. Unbreakable strength is really fucking good. <laughs> Just like increasing your nail damage for cheap is really good. Um, I think this rando is pretty okay. It's not the worst rando I've ever played. Um, randomizing dreamers turned the game less into trying to figure out where how you can get where you need to go, figuring out where you have to go next. It turns the game into scavenger hunt. So I wouldn't recommend randomizing dreamers, but I liked. I think I would like randomizing. Uh, Stag stations better. And because the location of all the dreamers are known, you know what items you need to go where, basically. It turns it into less of there's an item in the world that will let me beat the game. Which could have been in White Palace. But it wasn't. I don't know. This this rando took a long time. But I like this game. It's fun to play. It's somewhere in the middle, I would say, as far as randos I've played have been. I'm trying to think of the worst rando I've played. It might be Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is pretty down there. Like Majora's Mask and Demon Souls. Those are pretty poor. But then like the best one is probably still Super Metroid. Ocarina of Time, I would put it like a close second. This is somewhere in the middle. Yeah, this is it's all in client, but it's in client through a mod. Um as far as I know, modding of this game is fairly well understood because it's all in Unity. And probably somebody was like, hey, I like reverse, like I got a decomp on part enough of it to be able to just do it because it's Unity. But that does, it is really appealing to be able to play a randomizer in just the game. Like that can't be overstated. Uh, some of the humor and the descriptions in the game were good. Uh, Elder Bug is a cool guy. That's a good joke. When you first fight Hornet, she says, what do you mean I'm not that hard? I laughed the first time I saw that. But then other parts aren't funny. It's usually the ones where they're insulting the player. Like, you need the wayward compass to know where you're at. 
<laughs> Go back into the kiddie pool. Stop playing random. That's just like not fun. My favorite, though, was the description of the pale ore as give this to the nailsmith in all caps. That was fun. And here's the thing we can do while the credits are playing. Look at some blaze ball. Wanda Shan is, is uh, partying. Let's look at Wanda. Is Wanda in the... Who the fuck is Wanda? Oh, there she is. Yep, up two stars. Uh, not less than that. One and a half stars. How did the tacos do? Tacos had a narrow victory over the Georges. This is how the tacos tend to go a lot, is they have pitching that is just good enough, and they have to just score more po points than their opponents. Narrow victory of the Fire of Chicago over the Jazz. They're going to be the team to beat, but they're going to do a lot worse in the postseason than they are in the late season. We are from Chicago. Tigers' victory over the Wild Wings means they are not falling back from the Firefighters, but does mean that the Wild Wings are. This happens a lot with the Sunbeams. They tend to just wallop whoever they are playing against because Dudley Muller and... Ah, thank you for the subburn, Dad. Uh, I think Dudley Muller is one of the batting average leaders, and Alden Cash Money is probably the greatest baseball player offensively ever so far. But their pitching really sucks, so they tend to give up lots of runs and then also score a million runs. The Chucks take the stakes. Spies lose to the Breathments. So that's bad for them. Ooh, and that's bad for the Crabs. Let's look at the standings. The Fridays take the take the mild low. Very tight race with the Crabs. While the Chicago Firefighters are two up over the Tigers. Let me look if... Uh, this might be forbidden knowledge. But I don't mind. Let's see if... Oh. So today there was a three-game series with the, with the Firefighters versus the t Tigers. And the Tigers swept. That's probably why they're such close in contention. And then they had a healthy diet of worms. This is going to be tough. They have a three-game series against the Tacos. And then a three-game series against the Dale. Both very good teams. But... The Tigers, if they can beat the Firefighters in this three-game series, will have a very good chance of taking the Wild High. That's assuming that the Tigers have mixed success in their coming schedule, which they may not. They might just, uh... They might just beat ass. Anyways, that's that's it for baseball. I'm really hoping the, tiger, the Tacos can take a championship... Because it would be such a Cinderella story for eight seasons. <laughs> the Tacos were the worst team in baseball, and now they are currently the best. Anyways. Congratulations. Well done on achieving a great feat. You, perse you persevered and triumphed. We hope you enjoyed yourself in the world of Hollow Knight. We'll meet you again soon on the road. I mean, I'm probably going to buy Silk Song, so yes. I feel like both of those numbers are pretty shameful. Anyways, that's Hollow Knight Randomizer. It was fairly easy to install. You do it straight from... I want to destroy this save. Kill it.
You do it. You just do it from here. You have a bunch of options. And the spoiler log was superlative because it had a one of the spoiler logs was just how many items. It tells you how many items you have access to. Anyways, thanks for joining everybody. I might do something else. That was a pretty short stream. But I don't immediately know what I would do. What if I do this? What if I quit the game? Let me look at my Steam. Is there a game that I have never launched? That I have installed? Probably on Epic. I could do a thing where I play a video game and try it out one that i that i own yeah let's do this i want to do something completely completely different i'll be back in a minute 